Hi, thank you for joining me again on Living with Shadi. Today on the program, I will be discussing a very important issue and it is the power of ground standing. The power of ground standing. Ground standing, what does it mean? Ground standing means to maintain one's position against an attack, to refuse to compromise, to be unyielding, to just stand your ground and say, I am no way I am caving in, not to crack. You know, there are some times that you want to do and initiate some agendas that people view myopically. When they view it myopically, you're coming with a change plan and you feel that the way we are doing this thing, the conventional way we're doing this thing is not right. We need to change. We need to move forward. That process of change takes a long time. It takes a long time to bring all stakeholders on board, to get all hands on deck, to get people to believe in what you believe in. To sell this idea to people, you need a lot of effort and it's not a day's job. You need to understand that Rome wasn't built in a day. But then, what keeps you going is your power to ground stand. Because there will be oppositions. Oppositions will come from every angle. You know, it's just like something that is against the norm. It is not a culture that they have practiced. It's a new thing you're bringing on board. And who says that people will not attack you? Let's say in a country where it is not believed. Just like Malala, she was a ground stander. And eventually today, she had so she had it changed she that her efforts eventually paid in her country malala was somebody who was against the fact that women are not supposed to be educated and she stood her ground she was shot for it she was shot for it and it was only god that sustained her life because probably the cause that she was fighting for was a rare one and it was a good thing you know, a lot of people in that country were against it, but they were not strong enough to stand up and voice out for the voiceless. But she was strong. She was a woman, but yet she was fearless. And she stood her ground. Even in the face and attack of the military, heavy military. You know what it means to be in Arabian countries? Those Asian countries, you know, it's like the Billy, it's a strong Islamic state. And to penetrate these states, it means that you need to have had a strong and you know strong spirit and determination to go for what you wanted and that was what Malala you know displayed and eventually they caved this idea of if you don't beat them you join them wasn't in our dictionary because it was eventually they that caved and today she is celebrated, celebrated for women empowerment, celebrated for women education, celebrated and she's called up to talk about you know, issues relating this matter wherever it is. We need to cultivate the habit of ground standing when we know that what we are pushing for is a great thing. Do not expect that people around you can see what you see. You know, you should not be afraid and you should not be scared just like an eagle to soar alone high 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 up there in the sky because the eagle is a lone bird and it is still strong and its fastness and its power is in it so you should not be scared to be alone to to be alone in a struggle you should not be scared to understand that only you can see that better thing that they are not seeing it is not their fault because that is the way of life they have come to accept eventually so in your family, you can be a ground stander. You can be a change maker. Don't just come into life like just come into life. Make an impart. Do something that is great. Do something that can be named after you. After all, the world is ours to overcome. What are you waiting for? We have a lot of things to do. We have so many things out there that are left undone. Can you just pick up the gauntlet and do something today? And when you do it, when you are at it, you need to be resilient. You need to resolve within your mind that whatever attack, because attacks will definitely come. So but when you don't crack down, when you stand your ground, you will get what you want. Although the pressure is much, and then the journey is a, is a really tough journey because Rome wasn't built in a day and it would not happen in just a day. When you want something, change is not something that just happens. I mean, you need to have hands on deck, you need to have people on your side and to convince them is not a joke. It is not a joke. 
so when you sometimes when you want to do something when you want to follow your path and then it's seeming strange to your family members and they're like ah and they'll be like all those discouraging things ah you you understand all those kind of things that will jolt you off your feet and make you feel have a second thought like should i go for this no you need to understand that they would have they will have that exclamations they will have that drama and all that because they're not used to it you need to bring them on board and you need to do your ground standing once you know it is something that is good it is something that you're seeing there's something you're seeing in it that they are not seeing it is only right for you to make them see it and the only way you can make them see it is if you ground stand and stand on it stand on it not in a rebellious manner sometimes you need to fight a lot fight a lot to get what you want i mean fight real hard to make them see that they need to move forward but be a playmaker be a change maker be somebody who wants to initiate a change because in this world today we need a lot of playmakers and change makers you can be one i can be one together our efforts can make the country good so be a ground stander i'm not saying that you should be a ground stander when you're not doing something right when you're doing something totally negative i'm saying be a ground stander on something that will change the world on something that will make you a better person on something that will make the world a better place thank you so much for watching today's episode of living with shadi i'll see you again next time toodles